Hi, ladies. How is everyone? How are you? How are you? How are you? <coughs> How is everyone? I hope you guys are good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my mess. Hi, Anne. Hi, Susan. Hi, Linda. Hi, Vicki. <clears throat> How is everyone? Chat me in all caps, you guys. So happy Friday. Aloha Friday. <clears throat> That's what we call it here. It's Aloha Friday. You're eating ice cream. Hi, Samantha. I bet. You guys all have, say a special shout out to Pat. She messaged me before we started. She's in the middle of having a treatment today. So if everybody can just send Pat a lot of love, say, hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. Sending you lots and lots and lots of love. Hi, Joyce. <clears throat> Hi, Vicki S. Yes. So everybody, please chat to Pat. Say, hey, Pat. She can't chat. She told me she has a blood pressure cuff on one arm and her arm and an IV in the other. So she does her treatment during this time. Yeah, send her lots of love, you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was having a, a moment there. Welcome to my mess, okay? My mess is real. <clears throat> so, I know that I was going to do something in regards to ephemera today, but can I tell you guys, my week has not gone as, <clears throat> as planned. I have been a bit overwhelmed with my own stuff going on, so I thought maybe we could do some stuff. We could talk about creating your stash. So, Pat, everybody's saying, hi, Pat. We love you, Pat. We're thinking of you, Pat. And hi, Scotty. And everybody's sending you love, Pat. So I hope that you guys, <clears throat> we hope you feel the love, Pat. And I'm sorry, you guys, that I'm having my own moment here. So I thought we would do a little bit about creating your stash, which can have something to do with ephemera, you know, it, but it can also have, you know, to do with, like, just making stuff for your stash. <clears throat> you guys, I ate a sandwich right before I started. Hottie made me a sandwich, and I gobbled it down, and I think part of it got stuck in my throat, and that is what you guys are hearing. You're hearing my, you're hearing my throat. You're hearing my... So I brought some tags that I made from packaging. Um, I have obviously have all my painting book pages. I was making, I was fast and furiously making painting pages, and that's what I have going on. Hey Cass, how are you? Hi Liz. <clears throat> That's what I get for eating a sandwich really quickly. So I heard from Diana that it is crazy hot where she is. And it is actually crazy hot here. So much so all these little tiny ants have invaded. <clears throat> If you've ever been to the tropics, we have various and sundry different types of ants. And, you know, they don't usually, I mean, some of them are, are stingy ones or whatever will bite you, but most will leave you alone. <clears throat> Hi, Tracy. I'm sorry, you guys. I've never had to clear my throat this many times. I just had a turkey sandwich, so it wasn't any. I don't know what was on the turkey sandwich. But anyway, back to the, the ants. So I made myself a cup of coffee earlier with nothing in it. Black coffee. And the ants were in my coffee. You're being invaded by moths, Susan? Ugh. Hi, Tracy. <clears throat> Hi, MB Gray. Tell us your first name. And if you've told me, you guys, if you've told me your names before and I don't remember, please forgive me. My memory is not always what it used to be as far as names go. So I'm going to clean up my desk a little bit, and I thought maybe we would, <coughs> I thought we would work on our stash. 
So get some book pages or some magazine pages and you guys, we can make some painting papers and then maybe, <clears throat> oh my gosh, terribly. This is like the worst. Uh, painting papers and maybe we can make some serendipity paper. So for those of you that haven't made, I'll, I have my, I have a stash of it close by, or at least I have a few pieces. I don't know how many I have left in my, in my, my pieces of serendipity paper. But serendipity paper is one of a kind paper and you make it with your scraps, okay? So has everybody had a good week? <clears throat> These are all the things that I, that I got to make for my embellishments. And I didn't finish them, you guys. I did not. I did not finish them. I did finish some painting papers and I'm working on a journal for someone and I, it's just taking me a lot longer than it should to do it. So <clears throat> I hope Patty didn't poison me. Hi, Mary. Oh, hey, hey, Frida. You brought plastic coated freezer paper. You know, it does work that it, yeah, it works to stabilize your napkins. It works. It also works that you can even use that for the base of your serendipity paper if you want, and you can make it, make it envelopes with it and everything. I also want to share with you guys, <clears throat> okay, I'm done with this clear my throat thing, but I don't know how to get rid of this frog in my throat. I also want to show you guys what I got some happy mail today and completely surprised me. And it's from one of you lovely ladies, and I appreciate it so, so much. Please don't feel obligated to send me anything. I am not one of those crafters that feels that, you know, that I need anything. I, you know me, I love using up my junk, but I'll show you what I got, and then you'll say, uh, that person knew you so well. Okay, so for those of you that's the first time joining me, <clears throat> my name is Shelly, and I live on the, I have the beautiful island of Maui, and my focus is generally recycled art. And so, I know I need some hot tea, but nobody's around. I have some cold tea, but when somebody walks back out in a few minutes, I'll ask them to get me some, make me some hot tea. I'm drinking my cold green tea. So back to my story. I am a recycled artist. Recycling, I like making things from recycling. Okay, that's my focus. It's my favorite thing to do. And I like using like things that most people would throw away. So, and I make a lot of altered books. I'm a huge fan of junk journals. And if you've never made a junk journal, I can't tell you how freeing and fun it is to start. Just start me. Just, it's like so fun. And I make stuff from everything. Like what most people would throw away, I make stuff from. So I enjoy recycling. These are, you know, packaging tags that I make. And I usually paint on them and put those in my journals and... I make, I make it out of just to make stuff just about it out of any sort of, any paper, any sort of recycled paper part I'll use. <clears throat> I like shiny sparkly things too. Hi, Carrie. So let me share, let me share with you my happy mail. <clears throat> and so I'm going to just open it quick because look what I got. Look what I got. Can you guys believe it? This is what every crafting mama needs in the whole world. Glue sticks. Glue, 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 and more glue. Look at all these amazing glue sticks. And this all came from... Our lovely crafting mama Jan and she doesn't get to come on live all the time but she does sometimes but I want you to see look look at all the glue sticks she sent me she sent me my favorite kind ooh -hoo, which I cannot get here really hard to get here in Elmer's extreme and then look what else she sent me you guys I was just so thrilled so maybe I'll use some of these today in my stash in my building my stash look all these cool napkins aren't they beautiful and then she sent me 
a cool brochure on wineries, which look at the wine bottles in here. Look at this. I thought maybe I would cut them up and make them a paper clip embellishments. Like, look, look at the wine bottles. Aren't they cool? <clears throat> hey, Shazzy Mac. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But won't those, wouldn't those be cool paperclip embellishments, the wine bottles? In fact, maybe I'll leave that out. Maybe I'll, if I don't, I don't know if I have any cardboard close by, but I thought these would be cool to be cut up for paperclip embellishments. And I love all these um, brochures and little catalog things that come from where you live, because I get all that from where I live, so I love it. And she sent me these beautiful napkins. Like, look at these. These are gorgeous. Oh, look at this one with the hummingbird. Isn't it beautiful? Look, the hummingbird and the butterflies. And look at this one. I love this one. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Look, this this one this one might even be a cool journal cover. I don't know. I like I love you know, I love me some paper napkins, girls. Oh, look how pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have a little Parisian thing going on here, which I love that too. And more birds, as much as I love birds, you guys know. And the bird whisperer, that's really a joke. And then look at the altered playing cards she sent me. Aren't they beautiful? She sent me some playing cards and I can add them to my power pack if I want. All I need is my image and a word. So thank you, Miss Jan. Thank you very, very, very much. You're you're from Australia, Shazzy? Well, welcome. We're happy you're here. We are happy you're here with us. So how many of you guys are junk journalers or journalers of some of some kind? Hi, Joyce. We have two Joyces. Two Joyces. Two Lindas, and we have two Vickies, and I think we have more than one Susan. But Susan Z, she's the moderator in my group. And if you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, group go on over, and it's called Crafting Mambas. So Carrie it makes junk journals, and Lucinda makes junk junk journals. It was great. Happy mail. I was so surprised. Thank you, Jan. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will use the glue sticks and think of you. Hi, Claudine. Hi, all you lurkers out there. Say hi. So last week we made um, some painted papers, and from those painted papers we made some little envelopes and little book pages. I mean, uh, journaling. Like, these make great pockets for your tags little journaling pockets and we made library pockets and we made some envelopes I think right and the week before we made some washi tape some handmade paper tape and Susan says she's a produce she's a purchaser and a collector of all things craft but she does not craft Oh, come on, Susan. You do. I've seen some of your work. It's awfully nice. Oh, I know it's frustrating, Linda, right? When your computer shuts down, I hear you. So, anyway, all you lurkers out there, say hey. So... I just wanted to, you know, if you've never made a junk journal, these are all components. First of all, if you make, <clears throat> if you make smash books, if you make, you know, any sort of, you know, make a journal, but, you know, like some people just like to collect or you have a day planner or you like to keep things or um, you write in a diary. These are all things that you can add to your, to your journals, to your diary, to your smash book. These are all things that you can add, and you can make them from things you already have. Then you can also make all of this. You can also make all of this out of book pages. And you guys know me; I love to make altered books. These are these are also good components for your altered books as well, right? And so, you know, they're just fun. So, 
let's talk a little bit about your stash and what you have in it and how to keep going, how to create. Hi, Dan. How did, you know, keep your stash growing? Hi, CJ. <clears throat> well, one thing is, and I do get a lot of comments, you guys, I thank you so much. I do read all the comments that you guys leave me um, in, you know, in the underneath the videos, but I do read all the messages you send me privately as well. Hi, Roxy. Roxy, a smash book is like, <clears throat> it's like a scrapbook, but you don't have any, um, you know, how like in a scrapbook, you would put everything and make a layout. A smash book is like, it's kind of like a junk journal too. It's where you just kind of just collect things. You know, maybe they're uh, menus and photographs and tickets and things from your daily life. And instead of like making it orderly like a scrapbook, you smash it in a book, right? You put it in a book and you, you know, it's it's sort of like, a, it's, it could be like a junk journal, but more like a, like a cross between a diary and a scrapbook. Does that make sense? Oh, Jan, we're glad you're well. We're so, we're glad you're feeling good. Thank you. We're happy that you're, we're happy that you're feeling, feeling much better. And thank you, thank you, Janice, for my beautiful glue sticks and everything. I'm just so thrilled. Thank you, thank you. Big hugs. Hi, Sherry. So, what I wanted to, like, we've made a couple of, we've made a bunch of different things. I mean, I make stuff out of everything. I make flowers. I make, you know, out of my book pages, envelopes. I, you know, I try to keep up with my stash so that I have stuff to use whenever I want to use it. So, hi Ann. If I have, if I've missed anybody, say hi to me in all caps, okay? Because then I, I, it's not on purpose that I that I'm missing you. So, you know, I get a lot of comments from, especially from people that are new to paper crafting, that things can be expensive. Things can be, um, you know, it can cost more than they anticipated. And I understand all that. So I hope you use like. Buy exact buy what you need and not necessarily every single thing you want and then supplement it a little bit by using uh, recycled things. That's my my thing. Hi Sat. Hi Sally Ann. Carrie says she has to find a happy medium to organizing your stuff. Oh Carrie, I can totally agree. Okay, I want to show you guys the serendipity paper I have, and then I thought maybe I might do a few painting papers, and then I thought maybe we could do some serendipity papers together if I can find I have a pile because I try I really do and I like all types of old book pages like these are from a, I think a paperback and I like the yellowing effects of them now somewhere in here are my serendipity papers I can tell because they're thicker okay here's a piece I started so I guess I could finish this one so this is serendipity paper you guys this is one of a kind paper that I've made from my stash. Hey lurkers! Everybody that's lurking, say hey! So, yours doesn't have to be as wild and as out there as mine is, but I enjoy making it because from this you can make really amazing components to use in your junk journaling. And I was going to show you guys, I don't know. Okay, so these are made from serendipity paper. These Butterflies are made from serendipity paper. These are made from serendipity paper. So they're your scraps. That's what you use. That's what you you use these little bits and pieces of your scraps to make make them. You're going to wow, Sally Ann's going on a cruise tomorrow. She's going to Papua New Guinea. Oh my gosh, Sally Ann, how that's fabulous. So oh, Terry, I'm sorry about your foot. Hi Sass, how are you? Hi Margie. Hi BJ, welcome, welcome.
I appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up. That's so sweet. Okay, Lurker, say hey. So what's cool about making your serendipity paper is that you can make these sheets of paper and then you can use it for anything you want in your stash. Okay? So it doesn't have to be, you don't have to just make embellishments from it. I've made envelopes from it. I make, I don't know, all kinds of things. You, you know, you can use it as, if you guys do scrapbook or you do smash book, you can use it as the background. And you can also, if you have a die cutting machine, you can cut out letters with it. So I'm going to make a little bit of serendipity paper. So if you guys want to join along, all you need to do is have some scraps of your paper, like any scraps, and you need something as a base sheet. And I usually like to use book pages as my base sheet, you know, ones that I've ones that I've taken apart. Also, these are the fly leaf, which is the first page inside of a book, and those are generally amazing. Uh, they're usually blank, and they don't have anything on them. Maybe they're colored on one side and white on the other. They could even be two-sided uh, color, but they're a much heavier stock paper, and I like to save those two for journaling as well. So I don't know if you guys separate out, out all your stuff, but I do, so... So we're going to make a little bit of serendipity paper. We can make some envelopes. We could do some tags too. Today's just a little bit of a, just craft and chat. Crafting and chatting and having a, having a good time together. You put a fake, wait, I'm missing the conversation. You guys are talking a little fast for me. So Sally Ann says she put a fake, fake tan on and it didn't turn out well. Oh my gosh, Sally Ann, what color did it turn out? Oh no! I've never, you guys, I'm so pale. A fake tan wouldn't work on me. I'd just turn out, I'd be orange. Congratulations, Lucinda! You got a, you got a baby named Rosie? Aww. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. I, you know what, I would be like bright orange. You know, I would be bright orange if I, uh, if I did that. Okay, so you just need a book page. You need a book page base uh, or some sort of paper base. And then, oh, see, here's more. So you guys, I told you, I like kind of go to town with the, with the, with the scraps. Oh no, Sally Ann, oh no. Sally Ann says that her feet are tan her feet are, she says her feet are black, but nothing on her legs. So they just spray tanned your feet? Oh my gosh, Sally Ann. Oh no! Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, that would be so, that would so happen to me. That would so happen to me. I would totally... It would to that would be me, you guys. That would totally be me. So get your scraps if you guys want to make if you want to make some serendipity paper with me. Get some scraps. They can be scraps of anything, and I, I like to use magazine pages and book pages, but you can use whatever you want. Sally Ann, you are hilarious. That is crazy, cray cray crazy. Because I have so many scraps here, right here on my desk. This is what it's like. I got scraps of paper. I promise you guys, I am going to do a, I will definitely do, not today, but sometime really soon, I'll do a, a little video tour of my, of my space. It's almost, it's almost like under control. It had gotten so out of control because of moving, because of my company and moving stuff in and out. And it's a small space anyway. So, I'm going to break out one of my new Elmer Extreme glue sticks. And I'm going to start gluing some stuff down on my serendipity paper. Oh my gosh, Sally Ann, that is hilarious. I mean, I know it's not hilarious for you, but it is hilarious. I'm sorry. You guys, if you have a magazine page, which I don't have one on front, maybe I do. If you have a magazine page, it's always good to have something to glue, to use as your backdrop for your glue. Oh my gosh. I never did do a spray tan. I've never spray tanned myself. I, I think, 
I think mine might be even worse than yours, Sally Ann. I think I might, like, come out. I don't know. It might not. I, I know it wouldn't necessarily be a great, wouldn't necessarily be a great, uh, I'm so pale. I would look orange or I would just look like I was day glow. You know what I mean? You guys, you're never going to use these pages totally as they are. I mean, I, you could, but I've never, I usually cut them up. So it doesn't matter how they look. They can get ugly and that's okay. I know a lot of you guys have made serendipity paper with me before and it's fun. It's very addictive though. Yeah. Don't you think serendipity paper is addictive? Just getting out some more of my, I have like a whole pile of scraps over here next to me. You know what? I, I don't even, that's so crazy. If, if you get in the, what are you telling her, Linda? You're telling her to stay out of the sun because the spray tan is like, what will happen? Will you, will she turn like a different color from the spray tan? Or is it because your skin's super sensitive or because... How, what will happen? I don't blame you not wanting to go on holiday with no tan, but I don't tan, so I have to go anyway. Hi, Dawn! Oh, she, oh! You have melanoma? Oh no, Sally Ann! Hi, Mary Kay, you made it. We're happy to hear it. We're happy you're here. Everybody shout out to Mary Kay. She always seems to miss our live streams. So everyone say hey to Mary Kay. I'm gonna, maybe I'll start a new one over here. So I've got a couple of pieces of this striped paper. Oh no, I'm so, you know, I'm so pale that I have to wear like, you know, my kids, when I was growing up, everyone called me Casper. That's how white I am. I mean, it's just, you know, some people, they, their pigment in their skin just is that, you know? And, you know, I tried, like, everyone else in their youth to get a tan, which didn't work. So, like, I don't even know why I tried, but I did. And, you know, it's just one of those things. I just can't tan. So, I can relate. So tell me about what have you guys been doing this week? Well, you're going to have a great vacation anyway, Sally Ann. So you're going to have a wonderful time and just focus on that. Don't focus on the spray tan. You know, that would be so me though. I would be the one that went for the spray tan and then I'm all I'm, yes, that me. Sally Ann, I think we must be twins. That would so just be me. So if you guys have never made one of a kind paper before, it's so fun and you can make it with anything and it doesn't, and don't get caught up with, don't get caught up in how ugly or how pretty it looks because you use it to make things with. You don't, I mean, you can use it exactly as it is if, if that's what moves you, but if it doesn't, don't, just don't get caught up in it because it's like, it's just a fun way to use your bits and scraps. Oh, you, you logged in on Tuesday and you fell asleep. Dawn, you know what? This week has been a, it's been a sleeper week for me too. Okay. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's, I've been tired. Has anybody seen Mildred? You guys, let's all send, hi Crafty. Let's all send Mildred our love. Okay. Dawn, I'm not a redhead, but I burn. I totally burn. You can make you can make serendipity paper and how's your arm, man? How's that going? You know, I've been thinking about you. You know, I think all of us have our I don't know. Can you guys imagine I live in Hawaii where people are like donning their um where people are donning their, you know, rocking their tiny bikinis and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Thanks, Edna. I love that circle stamp too. You know that circle stamp is Carla's circle stamp. She's the one that made it, like made all of us covet it and want one, right? And then, 
I actually finally talked with my sister, and she said that she found the stamp for me on Etsy. Somebody was reselling it on Etsy. And she said the reason she got it for me, which I so appreciate, she said, you know, I'm the hardest person to buy for, which is not true. But she doesn't craft, so she doesn't know. So she said I'm the hardest person to buy for. So she said when I said I wanted a circle stamp months ago, she had one of her kids scour and find it for me. Or actually not her kids, one of her best friends. One of her best friends is one of these people that can find anything. Like if you need something or you're looking for it, she finds it for you. So it actually came from a resale store on Etsy. So because somebody wrote me last week and said, you know, where did I get it? You guys, blame it on Carla. Blame it on Caged Fish. It's all her fault. Caged Fish, it's all your fault. Carla, it's all your fault. It's all your fault that we all want that stamp. It is all your fault, Carla. You guys, I think I pulled a muscle in my arm, and I don't know what from. But my arm has been so sore, and I thought, you know what I thought? Oh, well, maybe I slept funny, or I don't know what I thought. And you know what, you guys? It has not improved. I'm just trying to grab my, I can't, my range of motion in my left arm is, like, ridiculous. I must have done it when I was gardening. Carla totally loves her circles. Remember last week I said Carla was circle obsessed and she said, I am? She's like, girl, seriously. She's like, yes, you are, Carla. You are circle obsessed. We're happy for you and we and you are sharing your obsession with us. So. You are sharing your, your circle obsession with us. So that stamp is called Concentric Circles, and it's by Hero Arts, and they don't make it anymore. So if anybody wants to write Hero Arts, they, Hero Arts makes stamps, but they don't make that one anymore, which seems awfully silly. So if any one of you want to feel the need to want to write Hero Arts and say, hey, what's up with that? You think that you should make more Concentric circle stamps. I'm sure everybody would love it. So, you guys, I have had, I, I have been, I have been in paperwork overload this week. It has been the most ridiculous week of paperwork for me. How many of you ever have that happen where you're just like, just paperwork out of the ears? So you're just like, okay, if I could just have one paper free day as far as like, I'm not talking about crafting paper, ladies. I'm talking about, like, the kind of paperwork none of us like. You know? The kind of paperwork we all go, ugh, seriously, I have to do that. So that is what has been up with me. I have been doing paperwork, 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 and more paperwork. Yes, paint it. We're making serendipity paper. Carla's is caged fish. I, I, I messaged you, Edna, I mean, I sent it to you, I, 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 re, I wrote you a comment back on, on, on the, on the, uh, on the post here on YouTube, whenever, whatever you asked me last week. Her name on YouTube is Caged Fish, and she has a really great, and she does Tuesdays and Sundays live, and does collage books. She's fabulous, and I love her. And she also has a Facebook group called Art Experiments. And so um, I don't know if the link is in one of her videos, but I linked it. I put it, you know what, if you go to my last week's video, Chat and Craft, um, I think I linked it in that one. I linked, I don't know, you guys, I think I did. If not, go and check it. I, I know I've linked it in other ones in the past. But yes, that's Carla's Facebook group. Caged Fish is her name on YouTube, and she live streams twice a week, and then her YouTube group is called, I mean her, her,
Facebook group is called Art Experiments. So if you guys haven't checked her out, check her out. She is like a wonderful artist and I think all of you would love to. She's just really fun to hang out with and I love her. I love her. I love some, I, I love crafting along with Carla. I love, I really enjoy crafting along with Carla. You guys, Dee Dee Willingham was on today. She was coloring. I watched her for a little bit. I haven't had a chance to really watch anybody. I've been wanting to, but I haven't had a chance to really. Hopefully, hopefully by now, I'm just putting my juju out there that my paperwork and everything is done. So next week, I can have a really, I can have a less, a less stressful week next week. That is my goal. Less stressful, not paperwork, or less paperwork week. This works better with glue stick, you guys, and also gives you the option at some point if you wanted to um, if you wanted to Mod Podge this onto something, then you know it doesn't have like a lot of glue. So that's what I start with. I start, I just work on a bunch of different things and then at some point I will stamp on top. So that's where I'm, this is where I'm at right now. So. My company did leave. I am so. My company is gone. And I have to tell you, I have a, had a big exhale. She was fine, this company. It was just me. Yes, okay, so... Where is Miss V.A. Pearl? Is Miss V.A. Pearl here calling Miss V.A.? She was eating ice cream. V.A., are you eating ice cream? Susan says, Vicki Brown, wake up. Wake up, Vicki Brown. That's what she says. I'm just using glue stick. You can coat your papers, Lucinda, but I'm going to tell you, I would wait to coat them until you know. How did I get the squiggly lines on this paper? You know, I got it with that tool. Um, do you, Luana told me I have this tool. I don't have it near me. I'll try to remember to bring it close to me next week. It's a pot. It's a, it's a pot scrubber from a pot scraper from Tupperware. And Luana told me it was a pot scraper from Tupperware, and it works great. It's a, probably one of the best jelly printing tools I have, and I don't know where I got it. I had to have gotten it at a thrift store, you guys, or my, one of my kids or something. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Um, I didn't buy it retail. I bought it. Well, I bought it retail, but at a thrift store. So I'll try to find out. Yes, it's that little curved plastic white one. You're right, Liz. That's what it is. Yes, Luana told me it's a pot scraper from Tupperware. You know, so I was like, oh, cool. It works great. I like it a lot. And it, it works really great. I've never tried it as a pot scraper, but it works great on your jelly plate. So at least that's what I think. I like it. So... I have, I'm trying to get my stuff together for, for our zombie journal. I have, I have a cover for it or I have something for the cover. Susan says you can use this, your squiggly scissors, your scissors that, you know, create a squiggly line and cut the edge of a plastic gift card or credit card. And then put that on your jelly gel plate. Great idea, Susan. I haven't done that, but that's a great idea. I'll try to find my tools from. I'll try to find my tool from a. I just don't have it near me. Bye, Mary. I'm glad you joined us. Hey, Wendy.
So you guys, oh, I see a bunch of lurkers in the back. Mary Kay said she had ice cream twice today, okay? Once at the Dairy Cow Barn and the other one at Fair Fresh Ice Cream. Ooh, sounds good. Good for you. I haven't had ice cream at all today. <laughs> so everybody, I'm gonna, Edna, how's your family in Puerto Rico? Have you heard from everyone? I have friends and I haven't heard from them. You guys, we have all been... You took a break from making serendipity paper? Well, I haven't made any in a long time. But I had somebody message me today and say, Hey, can you make some serendipity paper? And I said, yeah, I was going to make some embellishments, but I just didn't get home in time. Carrie says she has a cake icing sharpening tool, and she thinks she'll get it out so she can craft with it. Hey, whatever works. Rooney, are you out there? She's calling Rooney. Rooney, are you out there? Susan is paging Rooney. Are you out there? Oh, uh, so you, you got to you got your two sisters, but you not a word from your mom or your brother. Oh no. Okay, everybody. I know that we usually wait for the end to the, to do our woo woo, but can we all just we all just sit for like one little second and put our hearts just put all of our attention on our hearts and. Breathe in the love, and let's send out the love to all those in Puerto Rico and all those families that are just really having a difficult time because of these severe weather patterns. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe in the love. And then send it all out, especially to those in Puerto Rico. And breathe in the love. And send it out. And breathe in the love. And send it out for all those in Puerto Rico and all those in Cuba you know I was supposed to be in Cuba you guys I was supposed to go on a trip to Cuba no I just didn't I had too many things go on and it's just devastating there right now right yes positive thoughts we have to well and I've been thinking about you I've been thinking about my friends that are also there in Puerto Rico that I haven't heard from and my friends in New York who have family in Puerto Rico that we've all been waiting um, to hear from. The only thing I did hear is I have one friend who works for who works with the National Guard and uh, Victims Fund Relief. And she said that she messaged me and said that they were supposed to have the airways up or the runways open for in Puerto Rico for... Um, them to start receiving relief. So that I thought was a good, I thought that was a good sign. I thought that was a really good sign. Edna, we love you and we're sending our love to your family and you know to everyone out there right now. You know, ugh. Love and love and love and hugs, Edna. Let us know as soon as you hear from them, please. So, you know, it's like You've been on my mind, and my friend that lives in New York, whose family is also there, she's been on my mind today, too. So, Ladies, it's getting to be a scary time with this weather. Stuff we can't even hold on to, like, right? We can't even, we can't even get away from it. Not even if we try, so... Yeah, huge hugs. Huge hugs and lots of love. So girls, let's get to crafting and trying to stay positive and being happy so that we can, you know, know that positivity breeds positivity and that everything and everyone is going to be okay. It is a really scary time. Yes, please keep us posted. Yeah, you know, I talked to my cousin, you know, she lives in Houston and she's the one that lost her her whole house she, she and my aunt lost everything and her family and she they're in such a positive like she's just really a positive person but she was just you know she was like you know 
we all have our health and it was just stuff and we will we can always get more stuff and you know and then she was telling me about you know if anyone can rescue a dog or anything right now go down to your local shelter and, and rescue a dog like people were asking like what could they do and she said you know go down and do things in your life that you know you've always wanted a pet go down and make a difference right where you are you know she said because right where you are has things that needs help need help too and so I thought that was a really good spirit thing to say you know like make a difference right where you are Saying that, I'm not getting another animal, you guys. I have too many animals as it is. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Samantha. Yes, said no, we're sending in everybody in Mexico, right? Yes, it's very scary. Very scary. Okay, Lurkers, say hey. Tell us all. We're paper crafting. As Renee says, craft or cry. So we're crafting. We're not going to cry. For those of you the first time joining us, we're making some serendipity paper, which just is one of a kind paper that you use in other projects. So it doesn't have to be beautiful to begin with. In fact, I think the busier the serendipity paper, the better. Didn't our lovely friend Susan make, uh, Susan Studwell make her serendipity paper out of, if I remember correctly, didn't she make it out of lids? I mean, uh, labels? Food packaging labels? Am I right? She did. Let me think of what I can tell you guys this week. It's actually fun to make this, and if you've never made it, it's really fun. Oh, wow, Anne. Oh, night, Vicky. We love you. Sleep good. All right, everybody. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. So somebody asked me the other day, what does a thumbs up do, right? So a thumbs up, what happens is, is a thumbs up, it just shows that you have an active, active pe people are active in your, in what they're watching. But it also shows YouTube that you have, um, that people like you, and then you come up on the sidebar. You know how, or on the bar, it used to be the sidebar, now it's like recommended videos. Then you come up and you're recommended to other people. But it also shows that you're not like a robot, like a bot. So I guess they have the issues with that too. What do I know? That's all, that's what I heard. So maybe, maybe I'm... Hope you sleep good. Congratulations on your new puppy, Vicky. Your new pup is a beauty. So, that is what I know. What was I going to tell you guys? I've had a crazy week. Let me tell, let me think of the, some of the ridiculousness. You guys, my life is ridiculous all the time. So it, I often just don't even think about it because it's just how it is, but it's pretty ridiculous. I, you know, you're right. It is a little things, Liz. I, do, I, rem I remember, I'm from Texas. So when we would lose our power, it would be like, when we would come back after a storm, we were all just grateful for that. It didn't matter that everything in our refrigerator died, right? Everything in our refrigerator was gone or whatever else happened, right? We were just happy to have happy to have the power back. I agree. Totally, absolutely agree. I like that side better. It has some sparkles on it. So what was I going to tell you guys? So I'll tell you what I have planned on my agenda. So I, st I, have, I have a huge still Christmas projects to make that I haven't made. You know, like 
I know we were going to make snowflakes, and I haven't, as soon as I get my new, I did order a new camera, it came in, and it was not the right one. I need one where the zoom actually stays, and I don't know whether it's the, the my computer, uh, the tech, the techie guy on the other end of the computer, the person, you know, like when you call in and get help. He said it could be my operating system on my computer that is, I may need a, I may need a serious upgrade is what he said, because I have an older computer. Because what happens is, is I can get it to zoom in, but then it just won't hold the focus and it goes off. I was just telling you that when you give an artist, when you're watching somebody and you give somebody a thumbs up, they, what it does is it shows YouTube that you have, first of all, you have an active following. And second of all, it shows YouTube, it, it, it puts your videos, however they have their, their own program that, you know, runs statistics, it puts your videos to come up in recommended videos like when you know like when you guys are watching something at least a recording of it and it comes up recommended videos right so it does that it also shows YouTube that you're actually like doing live content and not you know that you're not a robot that's what it is Liz you know automated you had the power dance you guys had the power dance when you got your uh You, you did a you did a power dance when your lights came back. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can, I can only imagine. I've been doing a power dance. I've been doing a happy dance too. I would totally have been doing a happy dance. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, I'm making a bunch of journals. I've got a bunch in process, and that's what I've been making. I've been working on some journals. I have some Christmas stuff in process. I have some, I don't know, I have a bunch of stuff. You guys, it's always, I always have way too much going on. I should, I, I could do less. I could do less, but for whatever reason, I don't. I could definitely do less, but I don't do less. I don't know why. I guess we all have our own thing, right? Linda says she's used to power outages from New Hampshire snowstorms. Yes. I understand. Okay, all you lurkers, say hey. Tell us where you're from. Carrie says she's been working on a vintage sewing journal for a month now. Hey, I understand that. I have some journals I've been working on for, for way longer than a month. Scotty says she's talking about um, it lets YouTube track the busy channels and they put ads in the beginning. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. See, you know more than me. Hi, Gail. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, that's awesome. Lucinda says she wants to make a journal for Christmas and and share and tell people and share stories of her family. I think that's awesome. Conmari craft room comes up. Oh, because of the calamari. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Liz is saying that because. You know, you guys know my whole KonMari ridiculousness, my whole Calamari ridiculousness. She's saying that they come up in the sidebar of her videos. That's so crazy. That is so crazy. Wendy, you're from Lakeland, Florida? That's awesome. I'm sorry, you guys. All the kids are getting ready to converge on my house to ask my daughter to come play. I have a feeling. So, the frugal crafter did her calamari. I, I love the frugal crafter. You know, Carla lives in Lakeland, Florida. 
Carla, isn't that where she lives? Didn't that, isn't that where she moved to? Lakeland? She moved from... I think that's where she moved. You guys, I'm terrible with places. <laughs> Lisa, you're from Amarillo? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, you guys, usually I have some funny stories to tell you, and I probably had a million things happen to me this week, but my head is just not in the game today. I don't know what it is. I've just been, I think I've been in paperwork overload, and the paperwork has just been, been too much. So, I have been in paperwork overload. Does anybody else have an aversion to paperwork besides me? Or just, or just when paperwork comes up, you're just like, oh no. That's so me. The paperwork is like too much. It's just, you know, I sometimes think that, you know, when you try to simplify your life, that sometimes one to, I mean, I think my life is much more simple than it used to be. That, you know, paper, the overloading, overwhelming amount of paper is ridiculous. Paperwork is ridiculous. Hi, Kayla. Aloha Friday to you, too. How are you, Miss Kayla and Miss Kayla? You used to grade papers every night, Scotty? Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is, you guys. It's just like, anyway, I've got paperwork. I've been, and I'm not talking crafting paper. <laughs> I'm talking, although, you know what? I said to one of my friends when I'm done with it, I'm going to have a, she's like, oh, at least you'll have a bunch of stuff for your, for your crafting. I was like, no, I'm actually going to burn all the paper. I am so going to burn it all. I am so over it. I'm going to have a paper burning party. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to make a little little bonfire in my a little bonfire in my yard and I'm going to and I'm just going to burn it. Is that terrible? I'm just over it. It's just like I don't I'm over the paperwork. I am over it. I don't want it's just like too much. Too much. See, Scotty, I wouldn't be a good teacher because I couldn't, I, I would, I would suck at the paperwork. I would not want to do the paperwork. I would not want to be doing the paperwork. <laughs> Frida says no paperwork. She's, she's, uh, retired. Hi, Jasmine. Welcome. Oh, Samantha, I hope you feel better. Please lurk away. I can understand the floaty head. I don't have a cold and I have a floaty head today. So I get it loud and clear. I get it loud and clear. You're happy to be crafting, Kayla? Okay, me too. I need a little zen. I really needed a little zen today. Hey, hey, lurkers, everybody say hi. So what do you guys have on your crafty wish list? Does anybody besides me have like a crafty bucket list going on? I have a craft, I definitely have a crafty bucket list. I have a crafty, crafty bucket list. The things that I've wanted to do and just haven't done. And I really enjoy that. You know? Just going through my list. I think I put a list in our Facebook group. So if you guys. You know what? This black and white paper is a magazine page that's jelly printed. It's jelly printed. It, it just ran, you know, the tooth tool through the jelly plate. And it's just a, mag dark, a dark magazine page. 
Carrie says she has a lot of projects to get done. Oh my gosh, Susan, you're ridiculous. Susan says the only thing on our bucket list is two chicken legs, mashed potatoes, and a biscuit. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. You guys could have had some of my turkey sandwich that made me made me cough. You could have had my my turkey shrangit, my turkey sandwich. This was a magazine page journal I was starting. You guys, I have so many projects in process. It's ridiculous. I should give myself a little bit of a break every now and then and say, okay, I don't need any more projects. But I just keep adding to my bucket list because sometimes, like, I'll have, I, sometimes I do things just for time, like, with time constraints. You know what I mean? So if you don't have a lot of time, you can just pick up and do a certain kind of project. Does anybody else do that? So I have like the 15 minute a day project. I have that kind of project. I have like projects and process where I've, where I've just, you know, have more time than that and I do it or, I mean, that's just what I have going on. I try to try to give myself and then I have some long-range projects I have lots of long-range projects you're hooked on those envelopes oh which envelopes is that Scotty the ones where we made where I made out of magazine pages or the, oh the the security envelopes oh my god that's what you're talking about Scotty see right here on my desk me too a piece of a security envelope Oh, I know. I'm telling you. I want the red ones. Please, somebody, if you have any red security envelopes. <laughs> hey, Renee. Will you let me know? I'll trade you for something. I would love some red security envelopes. Somebody told me that they come in a Target bill, but I haven't seen one. I don't have a Target bill, so. I love security envelopes. And once you start, like, opening up all your bills and taking them apart, they're awesome. You've been here the whole time, Linda, but no video? Well, no, Linda, how can you fix that? Can you refresh? Hi, Renee. The red ones are hard to find. Okay. Well, they're on my crafty bucket. They're on my crafty wish list. Do you have a couple of red ones, Scotty? You better hoard, hoard, hoard away. <laughs> Wendy says she's she's upset at her. She's on her husband because he constantly throws them away. Hi, Sherry. All right, so then we'll do it. You know what, girls? Save your security envelopes and we'll make a project with them, okay? I made a journal a while back, but I gave it away to a friend who really who was visiting and liked it. And, you know, like, saw it on my thing. I should have taken a picture of it. Maybe she will. Maybe she'll send it to me. Um, I made a journal with one, just a little journal, envelope journal with uh, like a small, like a small box, a small, it wasn't a candy box, I think it was a, I don't know, some sort of small packaging box and it had security envelopes as the pages. So one side's white and the other side is the, the envelope, you know, the pattern and then I made pockets for it. We could do that if you guys are into that. I love security envelopes. I sort of hoard them. Like I have like a box of them. I don't have as many as I used to, but they're fun, 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 fun. And for those of you that have yet to become addicted to security envelopes, you just wait. If you like pattern, it's so awesome. And so she saw flowers and tags made from security envelopes. That's awesome. I've made library pockets from them. You know, it depends upon which ones you get. But I used to have a, 
a friend, I have a friend who used to get these security envelopes from like a savings and loan and they were really big ones, like jumbo size ones and they're awesome. You know who, sh who sent me one? Oh my gosh, if you, if you guys have to go, you guys have to go and see and, and watch Crafting Vicky. Have you guys watched Crafting Vicky? She sent me some happy mail. Oh my gosh, maybe a year ago. I'll look for it and see if I can find it because I coveted it. She made me, she took apart security envelopes and made me like, sewed them together like a, an envelope and mailed it to me. It was awesome. I'll have to find it. She, she, if you haven't watched Crafting Vicky, she is super fun. I haven't seen her in a while. We used to belong to a lot of groups together. But I'm not active anywhere any except in our group right now. It's just I have too many things on my plate. I need I need to take some of the things off my plate, but I haven't yet. You have a bunch saved, Carrie. Keep saving them. You know what's really sad is as many as you've saved, think about the thousands that get thrown away. <laughs> That's what Lucinda, you like crafting Vicky's uh, Christmas card remakes? Awesome. She is such a nice lady, you guys. She is so fun. Let's go over and watch her. She lives in Canada. She is awesome. She. I'm going to find this piece of Happy Mail that she sent me. I, I don't know where it is right now because I told you guys I reorganized. Well, whatever. I cleaned up my mess. Tried to clean up my mess. Reorganized my mess, tried to put, I don't know. Anyway, she, um, she sent me something in the mail. And it, out of, uh, you know, surprise, I didn't expect anything. She sent me something in the mail, and she sent me in the mail was, uh, was from, made from security envelopes. It was awesome. Very, very awesome. But she sent it to me. It's been a while, like over a year. It's been over a year. Yes, I like crafting Vicky. She's such a nice lady. Nice, nice lady. Oh, Carrie, you know, I, I, when we were having the the electrical work done, I took everything out. And then I thought, oh, it'll be just so easy. I'll just put it all back in. Guys, I think it multiplied while it was in the garage and boxes because I had Hottie bring it all back in so that I could start putting it back in my space. And I don't know. I was just having a conversation about, you know, like, about finding a better way. I don't know how it all fit in the space before because it doesn't fit now. So I don't know what I did differently that I'm not doing now. So it's like I'm going to have to go through a purging, even more of a purging than I've already done. I'm going to have to go through some sort of a purging thing and, and just deal with it all because it doesn't fit back in. And it's just, and, and I did a purging, okay? So I've already done a purging, but I'm going to have to go back and do more of a purging because it doesn't even fit in my space now. I don't, you guys, I don't know what I did. It's like it multiplied, and I didn't buy anything, I didn't get anything, but it, it, it literally multiplied. It literally multiplied. So for me, at this point, it's just like, it's just, it's, it's a little overwhelming. So I'm just like, okay, I gotta take a breather from it. I gotta take a breather from i got to take a breather from the reorganization. i got to take a breather from my reorganization or my non-reorganization or whatever you want to call it. It's like frustrating, right? Like, I know all of it fit in here before. I know it did because it came from here. But then when I brought it back in, it didn't fit. So I have it halfway done. And I'm going to definitely, i got to just... I think what I may do is I may just decide, like, it was kind of like one of those things where I, and where you just, 
you know it's for the betterment of yourself but it but it still is painful right you know <laughs> you know only good things are gonna come from it but it's still like seriously didn't I already do this aren't I done with this but obviously not hi Ash Lisa, making a bunch of junk journals will use it for piles. That's for definitely sure. You know, I think, it, I don't know what it is. It just, I think it all just took like a big, I don't know. And then you see these people with these huge palatial craft rooms, and then you're just like, you sigh. You go, I have craft room envy. You go, I have craft room envy. You guys, I can't move my stuff anywhere else. It's like the only thing I can. I mean, I could put some of it back in the garage, I guess. But the only place, only thing I really can do is just is let some of it go. It's just to let some of it go, which is fine. Which is fine. I could let some more of it go. It doesn't matter. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. I am making these cool new journals, though. I'm super excited about them. Well, I've made signatures for them. I haven't, I haven't done much yet, but just made the painting papers and folded them into signatures and that sort of thing. They're all just different, all kinds of different papers, book pages and painty, hand painted papers and ones that I've made and that sort of thing. So that's what I've done. I can't do pristine Renee. You know what? I you know what I try. For a while I tried to like curtail my stuff to like a specific size box and that that was like a laugh. Lasted for about five seconds and then I tried to I don't know. I can't I don't do pristine either, Renee. I can relate. Always have the best intention, though. I have the best intention. Just doesn't always work out that way. I have the best intention. Best, best, best intention. I think it's a bunch of see-through tubs so I can see, at least see what the, what the stuff is. <laughs> Dawn says she'd be happy with good enough, but she needs to get better with labels. Oh, I get, oh, I forget where I put stuff too. I can relate. I can so relate. Scotty says, nothing in her house is pristine, so why should her craft room be any different? I totally agree. I get it. I totally get it. Liz says she hoards organizer systems the same way that she hoards crafting supplies. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're a hoarder. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you know, my kids, they, they, every now and then, they, like, try to do, like, a, their version of a, of a crafting intervention on me, like, Mom, how many magazines do you need? Does anybody else have a family that does that, too, or is it just mine? Mom, how many, Mom, how many, how, exactly, how many used books do you need? One of my daughters said, she was like, I just want you to write on a piece of paper. I mean, honestly, you guys, how many of you guys have kids that are like in their early 20s? You know, they're at that age where they think that you're just totally stupid, that you're just like ridiculously stupid, that you can't possibly know anything. Do any of you have kids that age? You know, they, 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 they feel like they know everything. They're educating you to the world. They can't even understand how you've existed this long. You know? 
Have a great vacation, Sally Ann. Oh, yes, we'll see you in a few weeks and we're sending you lots of love. And Dawn says she doesn't want an intervention. Oh. Oh, your daughter and you enable each other, Lisa. Hey, I would like that. Okay, so Dawn says Leah's at that age, but she likes crap. Well, my kids do it to me in all areas, you guys. They, 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 it's very funny. It's very, very, very funny. You know? It's like my kids used to tell me I was the strictest parent. Guys, I was not, okay? Until they really met somebody who had a strict parent, and then they came home and said, Mom, we apologize to you. You were never, you know, what were we thinking? Why did we ever say that to you? So, my, my, my kids, like, they feel like the need to, like, have an intervention with me about anything. It doesn't even matter what it could be. I don't know. Oh, I was juicing. For a long time I was juicing for health reasons, not because and because I enjoyed it, you know. And one of my kids was like, you know, they had to have an intervention with me about my juicing. Like, you know, they, they, they like they make you feel like you're being scolded. You know, in ways that you never scolded them, but you know. So you know, she felt like she needed to give me an, I needed to have an intervention over my juicing or whatever it is or whatever. It doesn't even matter. My kids are all, you know, I used to get up and swim super early in the morning and one of my kids used to say, mom, you know, you, you shouldn't do whatever it is. They, you know, they feel like they know more than you do and like they should tell you what to do. So they decided, this one daughter decided she would she was going to come and help me organize my stuff. Now, I didn't invite her, you guys. I didn't invite her. I didn't ask her. I didn't I didn't request any help. This is a while back. So, she starts going through now. This is on her own her own thing. I mean, nobody invited her to do it. I'm just looking for some different papers, you guys. Nobody invited her to do it. You know, she did it on her own. So, she decided she was going to, she was going to help me in her world, in her mind. And, and she wanted to, you know, she wanted to, so she opens up like a box that has, like something like this that you see on my desk, right? My little painted papers or whatever I had on here. And she was like, <laughs> she was like, how many? painted papers do you need? I was like, first of all, she didn't understand it. She was like, what is this? And then, <laughs> and then she's like, how many do you need? And I said, all of them. I said, I painted them all. Of course I need all of them. She opened up like a box with them in there. She was like, okay, keep a third. I said, absolutely not. I said, I've been working on those painting papers for years. I'm not keeping a third of them. I said, I love them. I use them all the time and all my stuff, you know, it just depends upon what I'm making at the moment. You know, it was just funny. You know, it's like, how many painting papers do you need? How many? It didn't even matter. It was like, whatever. She was having her own intervention with me of, like, thinking that she... So after about maybe two or three hours of, cra of like, she made a huge mess. She made, she took everything out of boxes. Now, I know where my organized chaos is, but she doesn't, right? So she took all my stuff out of boxes, and she messed with it all. And then after like two hours of it, she was over it. She was ready to be done, but there was a big mess everywhere. So I said to her, that's not how it works. I said, if you're going to organize, you got to do it till the end. You know, you can't just give up halfway through or just decide that, you know, your, your intervention is done because you don't want to have to clean up after yourself, after the mess you made. It was hilarious, you guys. She was like opening boxes. What is this? Like she would find all my cereal box tags. What are the? Why do you need all this? So funny. I never did that to her as a child growing up. So it's very funny to have somebody do it to you. You guys are so funny. What? Susan says, Scotty, you can use your hot glue gun to make non-skid strips on your shower floor. Oh, that's a good idea. Right, Wendy? It's ridiculous, right? Your kids have an intervention, then they'll make it halfway through. You know, the same daughter does the same thing about cleaning up my cabinet. So this is what I love about my kids. Like, they come here and they think that they have to... Nobody's invited them to do anything. And, like, 
one day my daughter decided, my daughter that's 19, decided that she was going to bake. Okay, she was going to bake and so she, she start, but she doesn't like the way my kitchen's organized. You guys, I'm the only one that cooks. She doesn't cook. First of all, let's face it, I'm a better cook. And second of all, she doesn't cook. Even when she is home, she doesn't cook. So she like rearranged my whole kitchen to her liking, but she doesn't cook. So then you hear you hear me in the kitchen going, where is that pan? I can't, or, you know, I'm like looking for stuff that she's, that she's put away. You know, that she's, that she's hidden or whatever. It's just, you guys, it is, you just got to go with it. So I just don't even argue anymore. I let them do whatever, and then when they leave, I put it back the way I like it. Because why argue with them? They know everything anyway, right? Then I, then I also kind of say, you know, my mom has passed away, but I kind of say like a little prayer to my mom. And I say, Mom, I am so sorry for however horrible I was, because I'm sure... But if me dealing with this is frustrating, I'm sure, even though maybe I didn't dish it up the same way, I must have brought my own version, my own brand of it. Guys, it's just my life. It's just my life. Just my life. Oh. Oh no, Scotty, that sounds horrible. That sounds awful. That sounds actually frighteningly awful. Oh no, now you got me like thinking, ugh. Ash says she dished it out to her mom and she feels bad now. You know what, Ash? I think it's just the role of being a mother, but you know, it's just, it's just funny. So she came, she, she, she decided that she had some, a certain amount of time off one day and she's like, okay, mom, we're organizing this and nobody asked her, you know, and she, of course they want to do it when you can't do it when you're not ready or you don't have time. Okay. So I have two pieces that I've completed and I'm going to think I might, I don't know if I'm going to paint or stamp on them, but it just depends. Wendy says the day will come when they say, when my kids will come back and say, why didn't I listen to it? I can sit back and smart. You know what, Wendy? I won't, I, I'll just be happy if they're happy, but <laughs> that's ridiculous. Constance says her mother said to her, I can't wait for you to have you as a daughter. Oh no, Constance. Oh no, Scotty! Oh, I'm cringing. I'm cringing in pain for you. Okay, so I have these two, and I have a huge mess. Okay, I'm going to try to clean up my mess for a second here. I'm going to try to clean up my mess. i got some painty papers on one side, and some painty bits on one side. I got painty papers, painty bits. Oh, Scotty, that just sounds so painful. I'm sorry. I can't even can't even read what you're writing because I'm such a I don't know, an empath that I'm just in pain for you because that just sounds like horrifically horrible. Just sounds nightmarish late. Nightmarish. Oh, Okay, so I have some serendipity, kind of serendipity paper going on here. And uh, that just sounds, I have to tell you, I'm in pain thinking it. 
It is your ridiculousness, Scotty. Oh my gosh, it just, I'm just like, I'm in pain for you. Quiet says hers are in their 40s and they think that, that she hoards so they throw everything away if you haven't used it in six months. Oh no! Hey, you did get your legs shaved, Scotty, and that is one good thing, okay? Got your legs shaved and that's all that mattered. I don't know. You know what? I was looking, I, I'm having to, to do some... I'm having to find some paperwork that's like years old, okay? And I have boxes of papers that, you know, I did keep and I've been going through them and it's just been really ridiculous because I don't usually keep all the stuff for whatever reason. Who knows why I kept it all, which is good, but still, it's like a paperwork, right? So after I'm going through all this paperwork and looking for all this stuff, after this, I said... <laughs> I said to my daughter, I said, don't we have a shredder? She goes, Mom, you, you gave it away. We never, you know, we didn't use it anymore. So I had a shredder. Because I was thinking I should just shred all this stuff. Ugh. Bye, Wendy. I hope you have a wonderful night. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm not I'm full of my crazy anecdotes. I'm just not today, you guys. I'm just not full of my anecdotes. I'm not full of my anecdotes, and I'm not, you guys, I'm just, I don't know where my mojo is. My mojo has, like, I don't want to say my mojo's left the building, but it kind of feels like it today. It totally feels like my mojo may have left the building today. Does anybody have those days where you just feel like your mojo's not there? You're right, Linda. Don't shred it. Paint it. I'm telling you. I've got this burning thing. I'm going to burn all this of paperwork. Trust me. When I'm done with this, I'm burning all this stuff. I'm not keeping what I don't have to keep. And I'm burning it. I'm going to be so happy to like burn it and let it go. You have no idea. I'm going to be so happy to burn it and let it go. I am so ready to like not you guys looking for paperwork that you're that you like I don't know. I know everybody has their own thing, but I'm just over the paperwork thing right now. I am over the paperwork thing. Okay, let's talk about something fun. What is on your Christmas, your Christmas bucket list? It, Christmas is not too far away, girls. My vote is always get yourself your own Christmas present. That way you're never disappointed. I'm just painting a base coat on this so that I can... You're all coming over here, I know, just to come and yell and tell me that my daughter asked if our daughter can come play. I think she might have laid down taking a nap. So, I'm making my Christmas wish, wish list, and one of them is I want to go take a class somewhere. Not that I need to take a class, but I like to gather and with a bunch of crafty people. And what are you hopelessly hooked, at, hooked on, Renee? The old TV show of MASH? I love MASH. Those are great shows. So on my Christmas crafting list is I would like to go take a class. And there is a really amazing textile, so she's more like a mixed media collage artist and she actually lives near where Renee lives in Chicago. And her name is Crystal Neubauer. And I think I'd like to go take a class with her. So I, want, I wanted to take one a few years ago and it just never, I just never did because of my work schedule at the time. And I think I might, that's, that's on my list, my crafty list. Yes, documentation paperwork is the worst. I am there with you, Scotty. It is like so not fun. And not only is it not fun, but it's just, it's just beyond things, you know? In my world, I'm over it. Um, 
the documentation paperwork, I'm so over it. If you guys only knew. Oh, you guys, hang on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I had hung my phone. I thought I had muted my phone, but I didn't. So that's on my, craft, my Christmas crafting list is the class that, that I've put on there. I don't know when she's teaching. I'd have to look her up. But if you guys haven't, if you're into mixed media, she does a whole lot of different classes in mixed media where it's mixed media on wood. She does encaustic, which is wax. She does make your mark, which is making marking tools from things in nature, which I've done many times. But I think it's always fun to go and take from somebody. So I'd like to do that. I'd also like to go take a class from Miss Shannon, take a class with Miss Shannon Green. I love her. Don't you guys just love her? Scotty, you must have had the best time in the whole wide world. You and Miss VA Pearl. I saw your journal. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's on my crafty bucket list too. My crafty, maybe, maybe she'll do one at Christmas. You're gonna paint on gent denim tomorrow? Oh, that'll be fun. I've made all kinds of things out of denim, Frida. I've made quilts out of denim. I made a, when I used to do craft fairs when I'd sell my jewelry, I made like the, the cloths, the, the, the tablecloths that you, you know, cover your tables with. I made those out of denim. Denim is a great, is a great, uh... Hi, Marcy! Oh my gosh, it must be so early for you, Marcy. You know what, Marcy, I am going to start, I, I don't know exactly when, but I am going to start trying to have a live stream earlier in the day one day, one of these, either, maybe it'll be on Tuesdays. I'm going to try to have one earlier so that you can be there, okay? I'm sorry that I haven't done it before now, but yes. Marcy, I love your new journal. It's so gorgeous. So for everybody that doesn't know, Marcy is from South Africa. And what time is it in South Africa, Marcy? Is it like 4 in the morning or 5 in the morning or something like that now? It's something ridiculous, right? Or 3 in the morning. So I'm just putting the base coat on these. I was trying to do it with a paintbrush, but it, I think it actually looks better or it's covering a little better with a credit card. So. Marcy your, Marcy, your journals are gorgeous. I love your paint, what you're doing with your painting papers and your journals. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. All right, you guys, hang on a second. The kids are all going to start screaming soon because they want my daughter to come out. And I think she's in her room with the door shut. Hang on one second because they're all pretty soon. I'm going to have a, cho a chorus of, of eight year olds, eight and 10 and 11 year olds standing in front of my door screaming. Hang on one second. I was right, you guys. The week wore her out. She is out. She is. She laid down. It was so hot when she came home. She laid down, and her friends are going to start screaming for her, but she is sound asleep. So there you go. The life of an 11-year-old. She wore herself out. So those are my crafty wish list. Now, as far as supplies go, I think I... I haven't, there's nothing, I might like some organizational supplies. So if you have any recommendations, Liz, I would love that.
You have a, you have generational quilts. I do too, Scotty. I have I have quilts that I've made. I have quilts that my grandmother has made. I have quilts that my great grandmother has made, and then I have one for my great great grandmother. My mother actually was an amazing seamstress, but I don't have. She didn't. Um, and she used to make us blankets and crochet and knit and stuff, but I don't have any of her stuff. I do have a couple of pieces of her pottery, but other than that, I don't really have anything. So, so what do you guys what do you guys have on your crafty Christmas crafty wish list? I have these tags and I'll let them dry a little bit. Maybe I'll do one more because I put too much paint on everything. Because you guys know me. Gotta have more. Gotta have more. So. What are you guys writing? I'm missing it. Let me see. Scotty, that's awesome that you have all those quilts. I think that's awesome. Yours is a mishmash of everything. That's awesome. Susan's writing Scrap and Lizzie made, which we love her. So if you guys um, want to go over and check out her channel, it's Elizabeth Brewer. Isn't it Elizabeth Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, Scrap and Lizzie on YouTube, and she makes, she made a denim traveler's notebook. You made pink gesso today and now everything is pink. Hey, you know, could be worse. If you're going to layer stuff over it, you may not even see your gesso. You know, it may just be the undercoat. Marcy wants Jane Davenport for Christmas. You know what? Jane Davenport was on live today. Um, when I went to log in to, to put my stuff, you know, to... YouTube used to have a thing where you could... the way I don't know how... I guess I just need to read the instructions now because they've changed it, right? So, um, when I went to log on to set up my live stream, about, I don't know, half an hour before I was starting... Um, Jane Davenport was doing a live stream and she was talking about products, I think. Yeah, she was live showing her new stuff. I, I, I just clicked on it for a second, but I missed anything that she was, she wasn't showing anything. She was just talking about how it's going to arrive at Michael's or something in like six or eight weeks. Her face stamps are awesome. I think I, I don't have a face stamp of hers, but I have somewhere I have a stencil, a Jane Davenport stencil. So, I like Jane Davenport, too. I think she's an awesome crafter. Linda says she honestly doesn't need anything. But she's happy to be here now and have an old-fashioned Christmas with her girls and her grands. I hear you. You know, Linda, I don't need anything, but I always like to put my put something on my wish list for myself. Like, for myself to get myself. You drooled at what she had, Scotty? Was it awesome? Oh, now I have to. Now I'm gonna have to go back and watch what she did. I don't need anything. I don't need a class, but I'd like to go take one. <laughs> now the dog's gonna bark because all the kids are outside. Oh no, you guys, you guys I'm not, I can hang on, I gotta pick up the dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> the dog thinks that she's a child and wants to go outside and play too. She wants to go out and be with all the kids. Scotty wants new watercolors and markers and... Oh, that's what she had? That's what Jane Davenport had? Woo, sounds awesome. <coughs> Don't bark. I'm talking to people. You can't bark. You can't bark. 
You guys, she's like, <laughs> the dog wants to bark now. She wants to bark. Although it's, a, I have one little dog. She doesn't usually bark. The kids are outside, so she thinks she wants to be outside. And my 11 year old sleeping, so she just, she's not, she's not going to go. And the dogs across the street are barking because the kids are out. I'm sorry, Liz. Let's have a little pup on my lap here. Oh, Susan, you're so sweet. Marcy, did you see Susan's inviting you all the way from South Africa to come in her come to her new house? Oh, Liz is making a flourish journal. Ooh, I love that. Those are my faves. Oh, Lisa, it'll be awesome. Don't stress. Don't stress. Don't stress. I have one dog, one cat, and one bunny. You packed already, Marcy? Good. It's, I, I get you. It's the self-imposed deadlines. I totally, totally get you. I totally get it. Hi, Laurel. I know you're busy on Fridays. Laurel does the live show with somebody else on Friday. Laurel, shout it out and tell everybody about it. I know you've told me about it before, but I can't remember everything. Oh, Linda moved, but she brought her, she brought all her art supplies. She left a lot of other stuff, but brought her art supplies. Yeah, Lucinda says she has a black dog and a little bitty kitty. Aww. Well, mine's only not barking because I'm holding her. That's the only reason why she, it's the kids riding up and down on their, um, on their scooters. Okay, Laurel on Friday nights does Flare by Me. Oh, flare by me, which is fabric, right? That's what she does. Fabric, fabric stuff. Flare by me. Saturday's International Rabbit Day. Oh, our rabbit's not happy right now. Our rabbit is in its cage outside. Usually we let our rabbit out in the back part of our house. But we decided after our company left that, <clears throat> that we would paint back in the back. And so I'm not bringing the rabbit back in. And so the rabbit's not happy. Oh. I'm sorry, girls. I'm so tired today, and I'm not full of my vim and vigor. But I did come and craft. And Pat, we love you. We're thinking about you, and we hope you feel better. We hope you're. We hope you're having a. Your treatment is going well. Susan, you are bad. I'm not even gonna repeat that. I know. Just, just Renee. You can just. You can. You can send her. Uh, a water balloon. We can send Susan a water balloon via the computer. Psh, crashing on your head. That's so ridiculous, you guys. Well, I only did a couple pages of, of serendipity paper. I was going to paint these tags, but I don't have to. You've been... Laurel says she's been working on a secret project. And she has some great news, but she can't tell anyone yet. Ooh, I love a good secret, Laurel. I'm excited for you. We have two Marcy's. One Marcy from one Marcy from South Africa. And where are you from? Marcy Bassard, where are you from? Hi, Kathy. How are you? You see Charlie's paw. Charlie is sitting right here because Charlie was, Charlie was, Charlie wants to stand on the table, but then she'll get into my paint. So I'm just holding her. So you, can you see she wants to stand on the table? Laurel, are you going to give us any good hint? I bet it did feel good to sleep in your own bed, Dawn, after being gone. And sleeping at your sister's. 
You're from Iowa, Marcy. Oh, awesome. I know I've asked you before, and I'm terrible. Hi, Beth. You went out to eat. Happy birthday, Kathy. Everybody wish Kathy, Kathy a happy birthday. She went out to dinner for her birthday. Happy birthday, Kathy. Well, all we made today was serendipity paper, you guys. And I have some tags I was going to decorate. But it makes it a little bit hard with my lovely pup here. Pat, are you doing okay? We're sending you love, Pat. Everybody says, hey, Pat. Sending you lots and lots of love. Oh no, Renee, you're not well. You're banished to the couch for not being for being sick. Oh, that's not good. I hope you feel better, Sam. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Pat, we love you, Pat. Everybody give Pat a big hello. Pat's having a, an infusion treatment right now, and she texted me before the live stream and said, please tell everyone that I send them my love and that I'm there with you guys. She's listening to us via a headset in the hospital, but she can't type because she said they keep one of her arms in a blood pressure cuff and the other one having uh, the transfusion. Pat, everyone's saying, hey, Pat, sending you blessings, Pat. Love, Pat. So there you go, Pat. We, we love you. We miss you. How many of you girls have done your power pack or are working on it? I, I finished two power packs. I'll show them to you guys next time. I don't have them in here. I have them. I used worked on them in the other room. So if you're working on your power pack, we're going to do a power pack swap in our group in November. So you still have plenty of time to do your power pack. Everybody's sending you lots of love and blessings, Pat. Beth did her power pack. Kathy got hers done. The power pack is the empowerment pack, the cards. You made them, Susan. You and Bet made them. The, the, the cards that have the background, the painting papers on the background, or whatever background you want to put. The power pack is the, we're doing 52 cards. You use a, uh, they're like ATCs. We're doing a, pa uh, they're like playing cards. Here, I think I have my old ones here on my desk. Can I put you down? You're not going to bark. Here, I have some, I have, let me see if I have one or two here. I don't have, I finished two packs of, two packs of them. I think all I have is backgrounds here. I don't think I have. So we're making a power pack, which is women, a women's empowerment pack. Scotty gave it the name, the power pack. So that's what we're calling it. And let me see if I have one, I must have one card here. I have have a bunch of backgrounds that I painted, but I don't have, I don't know if I have one. So the empowerment pack was where you did your painting papers, right? And then you, like here, I have a couple of them in right here. Here's one that says, she kind of looks like you, Scotty. My power pack. So there are 52 empower, there are a deck of 52 empowerment ATCs. You can use a, the, mine, I did mine on playing cards, but you can do yours on anything you want. You only do one side and the, and you has to, the only guidelines are it needs to have a background and then an uplifting quote or word of empowerment and then a positive picture of a woman. You can have a man and a woman together. It doesn't have to strictly just be a woman. It could be, you know, I'm not going to put any restrictions on you, whatever that is for you. And we're going to do 52 of them. And then what everybody's going to do. <laughs> Renee says she cannot get a deck of 52 done. Okay, well, will you do as many as you want, Renee? So this is the deal. You do, 
the reason it the reason for 52 is like supposed to be like an empowerment a week right so you could draw a card a week right so there's 52 weeks in a year but if you want to participate and you don't want to do 52 then all you need to do is make as many as you can for yourself and then in November you're gonna send them to me and then I'm gonna everybody's gonna send their cards to me and I'm going to redistribute them to everyone so if you only make 10, Renee, you'll get back 10. But you'll get back 10 that are different than yours, right? You'll get back 10 different ones. But if you want a whole year power pack or a deck of them, you do 52. But we're not doing it until November, so you have a long time to do it. <laughs> Susan. Susan says she can't even get one dead. So one lucky person will get one, get one card. Oh, my gosh. This is my favorite one that I made so far. Linda, if you go over and join our Facebook group, Crafting Mamas, it'll be it'll be posted there. Yes, Renee, if you make five and you and you want to mail your five to me, I'll mail you back five different ones. That's my favorite one. So you put your background, your whatever you did for your background. Mine are my painty papers. In a magazine image or any type of image it could be a book page image and then empowering words and on the back you're gonna put your name and a contact if it's an email or <laughs> Susan made one with Caitlin Caitlin Jenner <laughs> so Susan does actually craft Scotty she actually makes really beautiful things you should make Hound her until she shows them to you what she makes. So, if you want to participate, I'm just giving you a heads up for those of you that might want to participate. So that way you could make your your cards. You could do them. Um, you can do them anytime. Like you can do them from now. You have now until the end of November. Oh, Frida, we have, you've got months to do it, two months to do it, so it's not a big deal. Just, the only thing is, how many ever you send to me will be what you receive back. So if you only get 10 done and you still want to participate, send your 10 in, then you'll get 10 different ones back. If you want to do the whole, <laughs> Susan Arts. <laughs> uh... Scotty, Susan makes beautiful things. She made a really beautiful mixed media canvas. Maybe she'll show it to you. She's being all ridiculously shy. Anyway, so I did two whole decks of Power Pack. I may try to go for the third deck because I have a feeling that, you know, we may need extras for the swap. Susan gathers. That's what Susan says. She says, I gather. You guys are so hilarious. <laughs> yes, Lisa, you can participate even if you're not on Facebook. I will, you know what? It's not going to be till November. If you just, if you want to message me at some point um, via YouTube or however, I actually, if you look in the YouTube chat bar, it has my email address you can email me and I'll let you know all right my lovelies I love you girls how about let's have a couple minutes of some of some energy work and then we're gonna call it an evening if that's okay with you girls so let's just do let's just do some what type of energy work do you girls want you want just do you want a round of love what would you like just tell me and we'll do it Susan, you're hilarious. She harasses, she harasses crafters. That's what she says. Oh my gosh. Susan, you're hilarious. Hunters gathers. You didn't miss the whole show, Laurel. We're just... I've just had a long day. I've had, actually had a long week. Hopefully in like... Hopefully next week I'll have some great news and then I'll be back to my old self. Or back to my new self. Okay, girls. Um... Let's do, let's do, let's do some love and peace. How about that? 
So everybody put your feet on the floor. And for those that don't want to participate, you just say no to yourself consciously and the energy won't go to you. And those that do, just say yes. So you, you can put your new house in the circle. Yes. So a heal, yeah, we'll do some healing. So, and I'm sorry if the dog starts to whine. She wants my daughter to wake up. Can you hear her? She's ridiculous. She's back there, like standing on. My daughter has a very has a has a has a, has a loft bed, and she's howling at her from the floor. It's ridiculous because she wants to go outside and play with the kids. It's so crazy. Okay, so put your feet. <laughs> put your feet flat on the floor. And I want you to see yourself in your column of light. This is your column of light. It's a big, bright tube of light. It surrounds you six feet in all directions. It's your column of light. And if you look up, you can't see the top. And when you look down, you can't see the bottom. I want you to allow your column of light to go deep, deep, deep into the earth and give it big, fat tree roots once it reaches as far as you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably imagine. Allow your tree roots to grow deep, far, wide, and vast, and anchor itself deep into the earth. Let's call on the beautiful earth energy to come and love and support us. I envision this energy like gold. You can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that suits you. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rising up, through your column of light and surrounding your whole body. Feel it filling your feet, ankles, calves, knees, hips, thighs, the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart. Feel it spreading all the way down your back and your spine. Feel it filling your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel it filling your throat. Feel it filling your head. And feel it bouncing out the top of your head. Ready? Breathe in this beautiful connection to the earth. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. And I call on the highest point of heavenly angelic creation energy that you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably imagine. I image this energy like sparkly, silvery light, but you can see, feel, think, or know it any way that works for you. Feel it entering into the top of the column of your light, the top of your column through your head. Ready? Feel it pouring in, mixing with your earth energy and spreading out into your column. Feel it filling your face, the back of your neck, your throat, your shoulders, down your arms and out your fingers. Feel it filling your chest, your spine, your waist, your lower abdomen, the base of your spine. And feel it pouring out your legs, out the bottoms of your feet, into the deep, deep, deep into the roots of the earth. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And one more time, breathe it in. Now I want you to focus on your heart. I want you to give your body personality permission to allow yourself to receive anything that you need right now in your life, anything that you need to support your life in any way. And on the inhale, you're going to breathe in and receive this love and support. And on the exhale, you're going to release and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Now you can put your house in this energy, in this receiving. You can put the, a new job. You can put a relationship, friends, family, anything, that a place on the earth that you'd like to send the energy to. So ready, breathe in this loving energy, this love and support. Breathe it in. And exhale anything that doesn't serve you. And breathe it in. 
and exhale anything that doesn't serve you. And breathe it in. And exhale anything that doesn't serve you. Now I want you to add a family member to or anyone that you feel that needs this energy and love and support. Ready? You're going to receive this energy and you're going to send this energy to them. Ready? Breathe it in and send it out to them. Ready? Breathe it in and send it out. And breathe it in and send it out. And one more time, breathe it in and send it out. Receive the love and support that you need and send it out to others. Ready? Receive it in love and give it in love. Receive it in love and give it in love. And one more time. Receive it in love and give it in love. Okay, tell me what you see, feel, think, or know. Oh, Scotty, thank you. I feel your love and energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I feel it. I love you, ladies. Tell me what you girls are feeling. Tell me if anybody's feeling. And now the reason I have you guys put yourself in your column and put roots into the earth is because sometimes it's always good to be as grounded as you can. Oh, Marcy says she feels blissfully and love. Oh, awesome. Hugs to you guys. So tell me, tell me what you guys are... Marcy's feeling blissful. What else are you girls feeling? Anyone feeling calm? Anyone still have residue of feeling anything other than positive things? Let me know. We'll work on that. Susan says Puerto Rico overpowered her need for a new home. Oh, Susan, I love you. Samantha says she's feeling peaceful. And Beth says she's feeling loved. Oh, I love you, Renee. And I'm sending so much love to your family, too. Oh, I love you, Laurel. I'm sorry that I, I'm going to have to get over and see your, your, your show sometime. You're right, Liz. We are all powerful, and we're powerful together. That is the power. The power is all of us together. It's not one of us by ourselves, but all of us together. Liz says, I feel and know that I am in the presence of some powerful women. And you are part of that power, too. Okay, girls, one more time. Let's breathe it in, and then let's just send it out to all those people that are struggling right now because of the severe weather, right? Mexico, Puerto Rico, Texas, Florida, anywhere where anyone is, anyone needs, needs it. Ready? Breathe it in, and send it out. Send our love to all those in Puerto Rico. Send it to all those that are just feeling lonely or just not feeling total presence of, of love. Ready? Breathe it in and send it to them. Send it to all those in Texas. And send it to all those in need on the, on the four corners of the earth. Ready? Into the universe and beyond. Ready? Breathe it in. And send it out.
I love you, lady, so much. You have no idea. Oh, that's awesome. Samantha says, sometimes her life is so stressful that she goes to the end of the video and she scrolls to the end and she listens to the energy work. Oh, thanks, Samantha. You girls mean so much to me. You have no idea. You know how you have no idea how much a treasure your friendship, your your our community, the craftiness. Please post everything you guys are making on Facebook. You know it's really awesome. I get to see what you guys make. You guys see what I make, and you see my mess all the time. Oh, I love you, Edna. I'm sending your family so much love. Please, please, please let us know what happens with your family in Puerto Rico. Please keep us in the loop, you know? Hugs to you, Frida. Hugs, hugs, hugs to you. Girls, this love and support is always here for all of us. It's beyond us, and it's, it is us, and it's beyond us. It's bigger than us. The power that we all have together. Oh, my lovelies, know that I love you so, so much. Happy crafting, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. And, um, you know, let me know if there's something on your crafty wish list you guys would like to work on. Marcy, thanks for getting up and coming and hanging out with us, even though it's really, really crazy early for you. And I am definitely going to do, I will soon put in a new time so that you can hang out more often. Have a great weekend, you guys. I love you. And as always, girls, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. And for those of you that just joined in, that you can receive this energy work anytime. You can come back and listen to it again and again and again. Take care, loves. Have a crafty week. Aloha.